Hello everybody, it's great to have you with us for match week five in the AFC Champions League group stage. We're in the Saudi Arabian capital Riyadh at Al Awal Park for the groupy clash between hosts Al Nasser and Iranian giants Persepolis. The home side have been pretty much perfect in the competition so far with four wins out of four and just one more point in their two remaining games will guarantee top spot in the group. Visitors, as you can see, in second place in the group. They'll be desperate for a result here today. Even with just one side going through automatically, Nisabalis will really feel the pressure to get something in the game today. Only three of the five Western group runners up progress to the last 16 and Persepolis starts match week five outside that goal difference. That's top three on goal difference. And said about the home side then, they've been pretty much perfect in this competition. They've been outstanding in general. The home form across 2023 has been absolutely exceptional. They've lost just two competitive home games this calendar year. They've won eight games in a row. They're 19 games unbeaten. It's a real, real big ask for Persepolis this evening. It's a lovely old evening in Riyadh. Temperatures around 25 degrees. Back to Persepolis. They've uh, hit some bad form at the at the wrong time of the season. They're without a win in their last four games in all competitions. They will be hoping, though, that uh, the last international break will operate as some kind of reset on their season and they can get themselves back to winning ways. We'll go through the team news for you momentarily, but the headline news as far as Al Nasser are concerned, they make six changes from the side who are in action in the Saudi Pro League on Friday. It's Al Okhtar 3 0 in that game. The headline news from there is that Sadio Mane starts for Al Nasser this evening. Well, the competition's top goal scorer, Taliska, the Brazilian, he scored six goals in the group stage so far. Well, he's missing from the squad altogether for the game this evening. As for Persepolis, they haven't played a competitive game for 15 days with the international break. They make two changes from their last game. That was a 1-0 league defeat to Sepahan say two weeks ago Masoud Rigi comes into the base of midfield ahead of Mohamed Omri well captain Omid Ali Shah replaces their top goal scorer in this competition Saeed Sadegi he's got a, a couple of goals to his name both of those two men will drop to the bench for uh, Persepolis it's in the reverse meeting between these two sides it was a 2-0 victory for Al Nasser in Tehran in a game that was played behind closed doors just a, a few weeks after they were able to negotiate the uh, football associations of Saudi Arabia and Iran to get themselves back playing home and away games rather than playing on neutral territory as they have been doing for the last few years but that game was played behind closed doors this one, though, won't be. There's a noisy section of fans inside the stadium just waiting to welcome the two sets of players out. The first time that these two sides have met each other in this competition either. They did meet in the semi-final stage back in 2020. And it was the Iranian side, Persepolis, who went through that semi-final on penalties on their way to uh, a second final it was their second in three years unable to take the trophy that time indeed both of these sides have never been champions of asia although both have been runners up of the competition in one guise or another in this current format persepolis were beaten finalists twice in three years in 2018 and in 2020 well al nasser got to the final of the old format back in the mid 1990s they'll certainly hope to go better though with their expensively assembled squad 
mentioned, they've been in outstanding form at home across 2023. And they'll hope for a result this evening that will guarantee their place into the knockout rounds of the competition in the new year. We're just about to welcome then the two sets of players out onto the pitch. There's a, a few noisy sections inside the ground. It's just beginning to fill up nicely as the two sets of players will make their way out. Capacity of around 25,000 here. So I don't expect it will be completely full this evening, but let's hope that those that are here get to enjoy an excellent game of football. So out they come then. And that's it. The home side against Persepolis. Two big hitters in this competition. And we have a, an all Chinese official team. Let's hope we aren't talking about those too much across the, the game. Manning is the man in charge. And Shen Yin Hao. He's in the VAR booth for the game this evening. It's a lovely weather and 25 degrees, approaching nine o'clock local time. The two sets of players out on the pitch. And that then will give us a chance to go through the two teams then for you. Starting off with the home side, Al Nasser, named Nawaf Al Akidi in between the posts, Sultan Al Ganam and Marek Laporte. Ali Lajami and Aman Yahaya to make up their back four. Abdul Rahan Garib and Marcello Brozovic. Inspect to play as the two men at the base of midfield. Sami Al Naji, Otavio, and Sadio Mani make up the three behind Cristiano Ronaldo, who will play on his own up top for the home side this evening. I mentioned six changes from that game played on Friday. It's a very short turnaround, of course, but Marek Laporte, Najami, Yahaya, the goalkeeper, Alakidi, and Brozovic, and Sadio Mane, the men who will come into the side. Some fresh legs for Al Nasser. And Persepolis then. And their side is uh, packed full of experience. certainly need that if they are to get themselves a result on the hostile territory. So they line up Ali Reza Berenvan is the man in between the posts. Daniel Esmilifar expect to see him play at right back. Giorgio Velsiani, the Georgian centre half alongside Hossein Kanani and Ali Namati make up their back four. Expect to see two holding midfield players which would be Masud Rigi and Milad Salak. And Captain Omid Ali Shah will play on the flank with Tarabi on the other side and Rafi, the man playing behind Shahad Zahedi who will lead the line for Persepolis this evening. Zahedi was sent off last time uh, Persepolis were in action. Two yellow cards in that game against uh, Sepahan. I hope to have a, a more positive impact on his side for the game this evening then. And we are just moments away from getting this one underway. Mentioned, no doubt the home side big favourites. I mentioned they need just one point to progress automatically into the knockout rounds of the competition. Certainly a very difficult proposition for Persepolis to qualify automatically, but at a stage where every point counts, they will be desperate to get something as they battle to try and finish as one of the three best runners up. So underway then the home side in the yellow shirts and the blue shorts attacking the goal to our left. Persepolis all in red 
attacking the goal to our right. And here's Brozovic involved early on. Space for Yehea on the left hand side to try and drive forwards. Sadio Mane looks to have started out on the, the right hand side. As we're used to seeing him play on the left over the uh, the course of his career. A fantastic career it's been for Sadio Mane. Disappointing perhaps that the move to Bayern didn't quite work out for him, but he'll be determined to show his best here this evening. He's the aforementioned former Liverpool man. And he's found an excellent ball. Yeah, here. Driving on from left back. Here's Garib. It's looking, I think there's been a slight tweak to the formation for the home side. Look at that at the moment. This will be just the one holding midfield player. And Garib has dropped onto the left flank. It's Laporte. It's the ball from the former Manchester City man. The the big money arrival, that's an excellent ball that's to Al Ganam and now here's Mane and Cristiano Ronaldo's in there, that's an excellent block, still not away properly Ronaldo goes down the referee says penalty Ronaldo is saying to the referee he doesn't think it's a penalty but he went to ground inside the penalty area perhaps trying to avoid the challenge Let's have a look here. I don't think there's a great deal in that, but the referee had no doubt. Let's have a look again. He's tried to pull out of the challenge, hasn't he? Ronaldo's gone down anticipating the challenge. Let's have a look again here. As the Sebbers try to clear their lines through Rafi. But Ronaldo clearly saying to the referee he doesn't think that's a penalty. And the referee changed his mind it would appear Luis Castro still has uh, plenty to say on the sidelines but let's give lots of credit to Cristiano Ronaldo immediately saying to the referee no I think you've got that one wrong a war of words on the sidelines suggestion from Persepolis perhaps is that Ronaldo should have been shown a yellow card for simulation well the referee's going to come across and have a look anyway on the VAR screen you can see the defender pulling out and Ronaldo going to ground inside the penalty here probably in anticipation of the challenge it's Ali Sharp and Ronaldo the two captains coming together and the referee's had a look and the decision has been overturned no penalty and that's the the right decision has to be some credit to Cristiano Ronaldo as well. So straight away saying to the referee that there's no penalty there. Oh, oh, oh. So I feel they got away with one a little bit. Here's Brozovic. Laporte. Brozovic once more to fire that out towards Sadio Mane but too much on it very simple for the Iranian international goalkeeper and there is a Baron Van the vastly experienced shot stopper 61 caps for his country the 31 year old Siani. Here's Kanani. Is that 
Gets the ball to Sadio Mane. Invite the fullback forward. Ball down the line. Nashi crowded out. But they've kept the ball at the home side. Chance for Nagy to cross again in towards Ronaldo. Flicked away from Graziani, the Georgian central defender. Perhaps something for Sahedi to try and chase down. Comfortably dealt with from your head. David Ospina for Al Nasser. That's the experienced goalkeeper out currently injured, so young Malakidi is in instead. Tidy football from the home side. Nashami down the line to Mane. Mane wants a give and go. This is not great though in return. And this can straight 62 year old coach. And so Porto man is didn't have the uh, most remarkable playing career, shall we say? He spent the vast majority of it in the lower leagues in his native Portugal, but he's travelled around a bit since. He's uh, missed three jobs prior to this one in Brazil with Botafogo and Shakhtar Donetsk in Ukraine. Back away momentarily is Gorbib trying to carve out an opportunity. Back with your hair. Referee doesn't like the challenge here. Free kick given. And he wants a word as well. Not too much in that, I don't think. Free kick given all the same. Stephen Schopper is saying about Luis Castro. And uh, the spell of Alder Hale. So he's spent most of his playing career in Portugal. Indeed, starting his coaching career there as well. He had a, a brief spell as interim manager of Porto. But certainly well travelled now. Laporte. Touch from Garib though. So eight minutes in, and still the only real talking point we've had of the game so far was the penalty that was given by the referee. Only for Cristiano Ronaldo to stand up and say no. That's the, the wrong decision. Returned by VAR. Mohamedy is not impressed and suggest Ronaldo should have had a yellow card. I think that would have been exceptionally harsh after Ronaldo stood up to say no, but Van has just given that away. Here's Laporte. A surprise to many. And, uh, Port decided to move on from the treble winners, Manchester City in Europe. Brozovic. And again. And we've got lots of time in possession. Sapolis sitting in and just happy to get men behind the ball, but Chance to work this to the right hand side. Al Ganam. Rosovic again. Xavier. Brozovic. Ball over the top. There's options inside the penalty area. Let's uh, simply get back and defend it well. Rigi helping out defensively. Good 
Liverpool. Garib. Trying it out. Kick it to Alisha. And he's on his side of throw as well. Subways of a reputation is a, a very solid defensive outfit. And that will be the game plan this evening just to try and sit in and cause some problems where they can on the counter. Chance for them to venture forwards here with Namati. Here's Rigi. Neat and tidy from Persepolis. Rigi. Chance for them to move through the gears, and that's an excellent ball forward towards Zahedi. And Zahedi's in on goal, is he? Well, it's just a heavy touch. I think the two defenders just did enough to put him off, but just for a second, Persepolis were in. Certainly on side, just couldn't quite get the ball out from underneath his feet. But it looked as though he was in. Well, Ronaldo interested in this over the top. Goalkeeper's come a long way. He's gathered it well. He's quite happy to go along as well towards Alisha, Akidi under pressure and he's perhaps needlessly conceded the corner there. Chance for the Persepolis defenders to trot forward. Chance to work Al Akidi once more. Siani in there, Kanani in there as well. Ali Sharp is the man standing over the set piece. And it comes from Ali Sharp, it's a decent ball in. Only half away, curling effort from the edge of the area. Isn't too far away either. This again as it comes down, it's a rapid shots away to Laporte Mashami Team Persepolis out to get through the first 13 minutes or so an opportunity for Kareem to drive on Kareem has options up with him. Ronaldo calling for it early. Doesn't arrive for him. It's instead gone out towards Mane. He lets it run. Now Ganam. Now Sadio Mane. Interested again. That will go behind and that will be a corner to Al Nasser. excited about and from Brozovic over Ronaldo's head Laporte got there it's straight at the keeper comfortable take for there is a Baron Van good delivery though Ever sniffing around just in case there was anything loose. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody that Cristiano Ronaldo is having another excellent season 24 goals in 24 games so far. It's not a great challenge on the halfway line, but Persepolis are on the way forward and it says Miofa. Will he get there? Goalkeeper's done really well. 
it's an excellent save. And the referee will stop things and allow the surplus man to get some treatment on the halfway line. The chance was on, the ball was used well, and as Milifar racing on from right back is denied by good work from Alakiti. Salak, the man was caught on the halfway line. Take a look at it necessary. So it looks as though the referee is waiting for instruction as we see this opportunity again. The pass just slightly overhit ahead of Daniel Esmilifa. It's a straight red card. Well, well. You we need to head to the screen for the referee. A straight red card. And Ali Lajami has been dismissed after just 16 minutes of this one. Let's have a look at the challenge here. Don Sarlacc. Does that warrant a straight red? I have to say I'm not so sure. But after consultation with VAR, the referee has produced a straight red card for Ali Lajami. Now Nasser are down to 10 to many furious protests. That's the challenge it was. See, from that angle, I can now see why the red card was given. Previous angle, I wasn't so sure, but he certainly highs up and over the ankle. So I don't think the referee has much of an option there other than to produce the red card. Well, Ronaldo continues to protest, but so you cannot challenge that high in 2023. See it again here. There was the challenge, it's high, it's above the ankle. So I don't believe the referee's got much choice there. Having seen the second angle, which is certainly the one that VAR will have seen, I don't believe the referee had too much of an option there at all. And so now Nasser in play for more than 70 minutes, down to 10 men. Interesting to see how much of a, a defensive reshuffle they're going to have here as well. Now, Jamie, the central defender, the man who was dismissed. So a headache for Luis Castro. So Mohamed Al Fatil is the man who's going to get the nod to come on. The simplest make happen, trying to force the ball in behind towards Zahedi. Tidied up from Garib, who's just stepped in. Laporte. Kitty. The port once more. And a, a bit of pressure. He's just about able to find a savior. Trying to swarm all over the Persepolis and they've won it back high up the pitch. The effort comes in. It's a good strike. It's a comfortable save from Alakiri. Questions once again. Cristiano Ronaldo. Crowded out on halfway. Not from Zahedi. It's another heavy challenge. Brozovic this time. Free kick given. It's just 
late in that one. There's no malice at all. As you see that shot come in, it was uh, Tarabi. He got the effort in. So time then for that change. Mohamed Al Fatil is the man who will come on. And Sami Al Naji is the man who makes way. Change and some defensive work to do from the free kick, which is helped in and flipped away from the port before smashed away from Al Ghanam. So certainly signs of encouragement for Persepolis. Haiti. Struggling a little. And on his feet and about again now. Slightly awkward fall, I feel. Sporting will be going back to Baron Van. And Persepolis will try and build once more. Gonciani. Maybe on to Rafi. Just about kept in play by Namati. Sealing again. Ali Shah. Namati. Space for Rafi. He's found a good ball. It's Melifar. Available on the left hand side, he uses Namati on to Tarabi. Rafi. So this is turn to try and invite Massa onto them. That's a ball to it's Milifar, and he's looking for a give and go. And he's got there as well as Milifar. Option in the middle. It's a good cross in. Tarabi got there. Well, he'll be disappointed. Cross fired in from Daniel Ismilifa. A little bit lucky with the, the give and go to himself. But the height was awkward for Mekhi Tarabi. And here's Brozovic. And here from the port. Here's Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane play a bit closer to Cristiano Ronaldo now. The operators are front two. Three two system, perhaps. It's an excellent ball. And Tarabi is finding a bit of space ahead. And Sharp and Murafi. And Salak. Rafi. Rigi. Nimati. And trying to take over in the, the heart of midfield. It's more far down the line. Rafi. So it's a game for Rafi. It's Milifa. Ali Shah steps away from Mane and steps away from the second challenge from Otavio. Ali Shah. Alti Tarabi. Opportunity maybe for Rigi. He has hit it. He's hit it straight down the throat of the goalkeeper though. Comfortable save for Alakini. And 
There's no doubt that the Cephalists have been boosted by that red card. And a bit of confidence towards Sahedi. And tidied up from the substitute, Al Fatil. Tevia. It's looking to get on the end of the give and go, but the ball was loose initially, but they've come away with it. And now Massa got themselves a free kick. They want a card as well. Nothing going from the referee for the shirt pull from the Matty. Suggesting to the referee there should be a yellow card. He's maybe a little bit fortunate he didn't get one himself there for the gesture. Keeping away from your head. Rafi. Rigi. Cleverly allowed to run. And Zahedi. Zahedi's got a shot away again. And he's not too far away. Nicely done. Clever dummy. That's my hope from Ali Shah was perhaps for a give and go, but pretty good hit from Zahedi from range. That's it. This is his dominating as far as shots are concerned. Here's Brozovic. And again, crowded out in midfield. Salak. Another injury, and this time for Otavio. That's the referee made of this one. Well, I don't think there's a, a great deal in that. Just a free kick should be enough. Otavio. It well, Ronaldo looking for the ball in the channel, but Nelsiani was able to tidy up initially. Now they won it back in the end. It's a corner. And that will bring the home fans to life again. Once more, the man standing over the set piece. And it comes from Brozovic, it's over the head of Ronaldo. And keep it alive here through your head. A twist and turn away from Ali Sharp. It's been tidied up nicely though from the visitors. And they themselves a throw too, much to the annoyance of Otavio. It's a heavy shot again from a minute or so ago. Good effort. Through the legs of the defender and just wide of the post. Namati. Namati Tarabi. Siani. It's been a good ball, but he's going to he'll be disappointed he's not able to help that on its way. And I suspect if you'd offered you know, Gil Mohamedi, the Persepolis coach, nil nil after half an hour with an extra man, you'd have snapped your hand off. Competing well in the opening half an hour or so. It's been how many was uh, took the job. He was happy to at the start of 2020. He was the man who was the coach for that 2020 Champions League final run. And that's what it's like. 
So got a victory against Al Nasser. But that one was on penalties. Fair to say, Al Nasser are a very different club now, though, than what they were just three years ago. This ball long up towards Ronaldo. It's going towards Mane. And Mane feels he should have a free kick, but the offside flag has gone up against Cristiano Ronaldo. in uh, Arabic is Al-Alami, meaning the global club, and I certainly feel that that's a nickname that's warranted in the last year or so. To Rabi. Sharp. Michelle once more. Rigi. I suspect that's it. Possession statistic will uh, creep up a little bit as the, the game goes on. It's certainly Persepolis dominating the ball now. Here's Graziani. Numati. I'm not sure if Persepolis though is it. As a defensive side, I suspect they won't go for the throat anytime soon, even with the extra man. They'll just try and sit in. And this has been given away. You hear it out to Mane. And again, here's a Tabio. Now Brozovic. Brozovic again. Court finding Alfa Teal. Court once more. Given away. It's more for that crowded out on the touchline, and Octavio will try and be neat and tidy and win his side a free kick, much to the annoyance. Happy for Sevilla's bench. Now Brozovic. Okay, now. Brozovic again. Not too many chances on goal for the side who've been outstanding at home. That's it. Just uh, two competitive defeats on this ground over the course of 2023. And here, let's get that cross all wrong. Much to the uh, frustration of Ronaldo inside the penalty area. Ronaldo was uh, talking about his experience in Tehran. He was absolutely mobbed. And now that's it. That's it to Iran for the first game between these two sides, presented with a, a pristine Persian rug from the Persepolis coach. Earlier on, it wasn't a game that the um, Persepolis supporters were able to go to, play behind closed doors at the Azali Stadium. They certainly made a lot of noise outside and around the Al Nasser Hotel. And the Persepolis have had a little bit of difficulty over the last few days they were supposed to fly to Saudi Arabia on Friday and it was a journey that was delayed thanks to some issues with the airline they were finally able to travel in the early hours of Sunday 
Get, get towards Mane, and Mane's won it. Well, can Ronaldo get there? And the answer is not quite. As Minifar is able to hook it away. Brozovic. Now Fatil. And again. What's into Brozovic? Space on the right hand side if they can look to use it for Al Ganam. So it's in with Mane. So it's that to lots of clubs, wasn't it? Sadio Mane, when it was clear that the need to Bayern had broken down. Report. Brozovic. Brozovic under pressure to Rabi chasing it down. Kiddy, that's a bit clumsy from the goalkeeper. Ball given away. Rigi. Salak. Here's Namati. Salak again. Persepolis possession. Go, go, go. finding Kanani as the home fans try and get behind their side. Urging the 10 men on. With Salak. To Rabi. Slows things down again. Ali Shah. Ali Shah. Driving into a gap. Ali Shah's cross. It's a decent ball in. We're looking back for Kasmilifa. Valencia here. And find an angle for a cross. It's a deep ball in. And it's dealt with well in the end. Big end with Ali Shah. And Ali Shah in hunting ball in. It's flipped away from the port. That's some good defending by the former Manchester City man. And now Brozovic. Brozovic has found Ronaldo and there's all kinds of space on the far side. Good ball from Ronaldo. Al Garib. Garib in towards Ronaldo. It's not a great cross though. Which to the frustration. FCR7. Salak is the Sepolis to build again. And fans urge their side on once more. Rigi. It's Milifa. Salak. There's space on the left hand side, they're trying to force that through to Zahedi. Well, cuts out though. And that will be a free kick. And the challenge on Otavia. Again, Otavia suggesting that perhaps there should be a yellow card. Getting frustrated with nothing going from the referee. Malkin out. Karib. No Fitzil. To the ports. And falls backwards. Kidi has given the ball away a few times. He hasn't that time though. Good ball into Mane. And Mane will see the option on the right hand side. It is Al Ganab. Look to drive on, Ronaldo looks to go short, it's instead back with Mane. Mane to Brozovic. Brozovic with the poor ball, we don't see that too often, do we? What about Marcello Brozovic? Just before mentioning Brozovic again. 
Lean on to Otavio. Mane. Mane. Trying to help it on towards Ronaldo. Couldn't quite find his teammates are coming together. And the referee is calling for the two physios to come on. And the home fans feel that there's a, an elbow there from Zahedi. I have to say, if the referee sees it that way, it would be extraordinarily harsh. Look at it if necessary. The two players down receiving treatment. And still plenty for Luis Castro to think about. Looks like both players will be okay though. again well, it's clear that the arm is up from Zahedi and so I don't think there's any malice there and too though Zahedi went to ground just on the off chance that uh, the referee might show something the dark arts of the game so to speak Common now, with both players having had to receive some treatment, both will have to leave the field for 30 seconds, which means that uh, the home side are momentarily down to nine. Just to remind you, if you weren't with us previously, that Ali Lajami sent off in the early stages of this game. Red card. And this challenge. And Zahedi has picked up the yellow card. I suspect that's more for something he said than uh, something he did. And tempers being lost again. Ali Sharp, the latest to be shown a yellow card. Tavio involved. I suspect that's a yellow card the referee's given in an attempt just to try and calm things down, try and keep a lid on things. Here's Ronaldo on towards it. Karib. Karib's been crowded out. That's good defending. Towards Ali Shah once more. And now Rafi. He did well. Rigi. Luciani finding the Matty. That's on up the line from Tarabi, but given away. Mane into Ronaldo. Ronaldo wants a return, but Namati stands up and Namati's done well. Collision. That's excellent work. You hear it. Garib. It's everywhere, Garib. Very fluid roll for him as Yehea's cross comes in, in towards Ronaldo, but out well from Graziani. Reports to Alpha Teal. Grozovic. Garib. Steps away from one challenge, gets the return from Ronaldo. Ronaldo again. Trying to use Garib once more. Just helped away. Brozovic. 45 minutes have been played. Otherwise, on the fourth official to see how much time's added on. I suspect it will be a few. There we go. Four minutes. 
to that coming from the VAR review for the red card. Here's Otavia. The port into Garib. Once again, Ronaldo coming deep. Ronaldo fancying his chances from range. And we've certainly seen him put them in from there over the course of his long and illustrious career, but not this time. And that's where the yellow card came from. Close to giving that away, but that's terrific work from Rafi. Now to Rabi. Held off the challenge of Karib. Runs aside the throw. Melciani. Another delay. Otavio has gone down again. Battle across this first half is the Brazilian. A small band of Travelling fans getting behind their side. <laughs> Will be okay. A Brazilian, a Brazilian born, but represents Portugal at international level. Porto man. Canani. We see it into half time, I suspect. And the visit is Salak. There's no chance to cut off the home side open. Rafi giving the ball away. Tavia finding Brozovic and now Mane. He allows it to go as Garib tries to get away from the Matty, but he's held it up well. It's good defending from the fullback. And once again, Latavia. In fact, this time it's Brozovic has gone to ground. And there's another yellow card coming out. This time it is for Sarish Rafi. Any second, then, but lots of stoppages. And I suspect Misopoulos and their coach Gil Mohammedi will be much the happier of the two as cheers greet the half time whistle. It is goalless in the first half. Al Nasser thought that they were awarded a second minute penalty. Cristiano Ronaldo said to the referee that it was the wrong decision. Before that red card for Ali Lajami, straight red card for a high challenge. Second half coming up shortly, half time. Al Nassar nil, Persepolis nil.
Well, again, then, everybody, and we'll come back to Al Alwell Park in the second half of this creepy clash between Al Nasser and Persepolis. If you are just joining us, we haven't missed any goals in the first half, nil-nil. But Ali Lajami dismissed for the home side after just 17 minutes. And so Al Nasser down to 10 as they search for the point that would secure top spots in the group and thus automatic qualification into the knockout rounds of the competition and that sets the players back out on the pitch and we will get this second half underway it was the side who had most of the ball in the, the first 45 minutes, but the better opportunity certainly went the way of the visitors, the best of them. And Zahedi thought that he was put clean through, and also as Milifar was denied well, but Alakidi. Second half underway, hang side in the yellow shirts. Here's Sadio Mane. Mane with the cross in towards Ronaldo. It's punched away from Baron Van. The referees. Whistle hasn't gone as Ronaldo's stayed down inside the penalty area. Certainly a testing delivery in from Sadio Mane at the start of this second half. Ronaldo colliding with the goalkeeper. And it's a, an awkward fall for Cristiano Ronaldo. Down, holding the shoulder. Certainly something that Al Nasser could do without losing Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe desperately hoping his countryman is OK, Luis Castro. But dangerous from the home side. Mane getting in behind. It's just an awkward fall from the goalkeeper, this... Absolutely no malice at all. And no danger of it being a free kick, but certainly a heavy impact from the goalkeeper. On Ronaldo, this look as though he will be OK. And back up and on his feet. The first time, I think, in the game that we've seen Sadio Mane get in behind. And again, the home player is not happy with the referee. It's Canani. out from Rigi. There were three yellow cards for the visitors in the first half. As Rigi goes sliding into a challenge. Looking to Haiti to win it back. He is one of those three on the yellow. Now Tevio has got the better of the battle with Salak. Is Brozovic. Looks out from the port. Brozovic again. So it hasn't been the start of the season that uh, the Settlers will have wanted. So it's, uh, on the domestic treble last season to so qualify automatically. Oh, the Division Champions League, but they're down in sixth place after nine games. 
domestically. It's Namati. Namati to Rigi. Ali Sharp. Namati is nearly far forward. In comes the cross. It's helped on and just helped behind. to run ahead of Laporte and he certainly gets there. It's tough to give that a chance but a sight on goal at least for Rafi. It's good work from Garib and he's won his side a free kick. throw. Finished his uh, runners up and that's it. Saudi Pro League last season. Second place after 14 rounds this season too. Halal leading the way. Siani is to Rabi. Matty. Matty. Siani forward. Rigi. Now Salak. Will be available. Good ball from Tarabi. And he's on the flick on two. Tarabi into the area. Has to pull it back. Zahedi, Rigi, and that's good work from Garib to bring it away. Never ran it in midfield, but slips the drive on towards Ronaldo. Continues to run through the middle, but that's well cut out from Hussein Kenani. Vital interception. It's Ronaldo again. He's got away from the challenge. And the line to Brozovic. Garib. Alphatil. Oh, it's only really nice to say that his side didn't press on, but they have got the ball back. Here's Namati. Namati finding Tarebi. Rigi. Sharp, Rafi, it's Milifar, it's as if Salak is playing further forward as the ball comes in towards the striker, the offside flag has gone up as Sahedi puts the ball into the back of the net, well well, how close is that? There will certainly be a check. Well, he is offside. Let's see from the naked eye. Just a little bit over eager. Shahab Zahedi. Nothing away from the finish, though. It's an excellent effort into the bottom corner. Simple decision from VAR. And the teal. Goalkeepers found an excellent ball. And here forward. Garib. Wants a return from Ronaldo. Won't get it. Instead, it's helped on from Sarebi. And they've got options forward in the attack. It's punched out from the goalkeeper as the strike came in from Zahedi. Mane, Mane's giving it away. Namati, just starting to ask some questions. And the effort was ambitious from Ali Shah. There's that effort again. It's punched out from the keeper. 
Mane. And the press is certainly more advanced now from Persepolis. And Salak finding the Mati. The Mati across goal. And they find Garib. He's able to clear his lines. But of course, the more advanced the press is, the more space there is in behind for Al Nasser. The pace of Mane in particular, the try and use. Here's Otavio. Mane. Mane losing out to Salak. Ali Shah. It's Milifa. Rigi. Here's Salak. And Rafi. Slow things down and then try and launch again. Deflected strike has come out towards Torebi. Torebi has options in the middle. He is Rafi providing short. Here is Rafi. Ali Sharp. It's more fun crowded out. Velciani. Nomati. Much more aggressive and adventurous Persepolis at the start of this second half. Up against the 10 men, remember. Ali Sharp, space on the right flank. Couldn't see an option for the pass, so steady's found to Rabi. Namati. Ali Sharp. Kept in play, that's good work. But the ball given away, Namati. Kanani. Kanani has only found Garib. And launching forward. And it's left to run by Otavia. Ronaldo on the turn! It's just wide at the post. Oh, first real sight on goal for Cristiano Ronaldo. And he'll be disappointed. He hasn't fizzed that into the bottom corner. Clever dummy from Otavia. And Ronaldo on the turn. And in the blink of an eye, despite the domination of Persepolis, they were very nearly 1-0 down. So, so close from Ronaldo. And I wonder how that the goalkeeper frustrated with the defenders in front of him. To Rabi. Salak. Namati. That's careless from Namati. Kept it in play. Watch the hour mark. This time, he won't keep that one in play from Rafi. Very sweet. Approach the hour whether either coach will start to think about changes. And Ali Sharp. He's had a man down again. Namati. And the home fans want the ball put out of play as they're momentarily down to nine, the home side. When you're here, he's gone down. So a bit of treatment required for the left back. Coach will start to think about changes. Certainly, Al Nasser, one of the 10 men from the 17th minute. Trying to get some fresh legs on. Lemon will be okay. And well, 
Brozovic has picked up a yellow card. Too many things to say to the official. Belciani once more. To Rabi down the line. Good ball. And here goes Salak. And to Rabi takes over. Sarani available. Salak will get there. Looks to pull it back to Zahedi. Oh, it's a big crowd. It's eventually smuggled away. Things just for a second opening up for the visitors. Here's Mane. Mane can't wriggle away from two red shirts. It's a Haiti again, just launch clear from Al Fatil. The Sabres feel well on top at the moment. Almaty. Almaty frustrate the home crowd, but what they really want is a goal. Siani Salak it's on the right side and the flag has stayed down and that's it and free kick given just a little bit late in the eyes of the referee on your hairs we see this effort from Zahedi a few minutes ago forward only given away again Rafi Ali Sharp now Fatil able to tidy things up the port is in trouble it's been given away well well that's a lucky escape Salak coming in the port just wants to take his time he's under all kinds of pressure in there and that is a vital challenge from the substitute the Ronaldo chance in a few minutes or so ago but oh, very nearly the architects of their own downfall there Al Nasser and uh, Al Fatil has hurt himself in clearing his lines in one of those moments that the Port would have had nightmares about if that found its way into the back of the net Matty. That's poor from Rafi. Once again, trying to get behind their side. Trying to lift them. to Rabi taken away Al Ghanam he's used that well he found Yehaya should have had a bit was Garib but he still uses Laporte and now Brozovic Octavia Brozovic Yes, the ball's forward from Brozovic. Here's Kanani. Rigi. This was loose, and Sadio on it, and Sadio went to ground, so the referee's not interested in his protests. Instead, here goes Salak. 
Again, the home fans want the ball put into touch, and again it will be. Although a great protest, it must be said. Tibia felt that he was clipped. There might have been a, a light touch on him, but I don't know whether it warrants him going down in the way that he did. Able to just to take the sting out of any momentum that the Cephalus have been able to generate. And we are about to see some changes coming. Hoy looks as though he'll come on, the 32 year old Swede. HSV man. Schmeltz up top. Oh, and that's in a moment as Bessioni brings the ball over halfway. Namati. To Rabi. Salak. To Namati again. Salak. Lovely ball out to the right-hand side. Finds his captain, Ali Shah. Disappointed with his ball. And so he is able to clear his lines and up towards Ronaldo. Luciani. Namati. To Rabi. And capped by his uh, nation, Georgia, the 32 year old. So he hasn't put a foot wrong in the heart of the defence in the game this evening. Nani. This stayed down momentarily as the cross comes in. It's helped away from the port. Of course, the flag should have gone up. Stays down as Garib. Tobia on the turn, stepped away from a couple of challenges and sent tumbling by the aforementioned Georgi Graziani. Ronaldo has just pulled wide and Mane looks to be going through the middle at the moment. Alcanam. With a give and go, Garibas other ideas and uses a Tavia. Garib Mane. Ganam. Lucevic again. Ronaldo interested at the far post. It's beyond him. Just about gets in play though. Now Fatil, who up to now is the only substitute that's been used in the game. But Xavier. Brozovic. Report to Garib. Garib can only succeed in fouling his man. Some good work from Ali Sharp. Just did well to step in front of Garib. Thinking about changes as you know, Salah 
goes to ground. And the referee calls for the physio team. to be a, a stud mark just above the ankle. And I certainly hope he's okay. Important player for Persepolis. And Cristiano Ronaldo, ever since the first and second minute of this second half, he's been struggling with that neck. It came from the collision with Beren Van right at the start of this second half. to be in no mood to leave the pitch, Cristiano Ronaldo, but keep seeing him, his hand on his neck. <laughs> so that will uh, leave the pitch on the stretcher. If his race is run, he certainly doesn't look particularly happy as he makes his way off. And something for Bill Mohammed to think about that he makes the change there with Salak. Let's look as though we are going to see changes. We are, and it's Sadegi who's about to come on. And Shahab Zahedi is the man who he'll replace. the man who will come on in place of the aforementioned Salah. So, two changes for the visitors inside the last 20 minutes. Just said he's got a, a couple of goals in the group stage so far give for another one this evening. Namati. To Rabi. Keeps it on its way. And that will be a corner. Ali Shah will trot across the take. Second so Garciani and Kanani have come forward. And comes the delivery. Just helped away from Ronaldo. Always a good option to have at that near post, isn't he? The big centre forward. Said <laughs> over to his goalkeeper Baron Van. And an excellent ball to Tarabi. Just can't quite twist away from Al Ganam. And now here's Otavia. Al Ganam again. To run on from Kareem. And Siani able just to tidy things up again. And it's going to be a free kick. Kareem all over the back of Namati. Rigi 
Rafi. Good ball. The inside flag stayed down, but it will go up now. And it annoys a lot of people that long delay in the offside flag going up. But in the VAR era, unfortunately, it has to be done. Here. And out. Now Octavia. You hear it. Just a reminder again. I say that a point is enough for Al Nasser to secure top spot. to Lewis Castro now he would probably take it but the home fans will want more as the ball's up towards Mane here's Ronaldo trying to find Sadio Mane but it's a poor ball from Ronaldo that time and there's another free kick given in the challenge of Brozovic spells in the game where it's been a bit of a, a stop-start affair. Plenty of free kicks given. Rigi. It's like the final 15 minutes of the contest. Terrari. Rigi. Kanani. The ball. And they look to get in behind with Seregi. And Seregi is offside. tight and it's uh, the right decision and, uh, Mohamed Moran is uh, about to come on for the home side and that is for Cristiano Ronaldo well I mentioned he's been holding his neck quite a bit Yes, this game has gone on in the second half. And now his race is run. He will make way. And he won't be happy being taken off. He never is happy being taken off, Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's the home fans as he makes his way off the pitch. But feeling his neck from that collision. Straight down the tunnel for Cristiano Ronaldo. So off he goes. And Mohamed Moran will take his place up top for the closing. What have we got? 12 and a half minutes plus whatever's added on for stoppages. He's calm under pressure there. Well, they've certainly worked hard with 10 men. Now that's it. And they have had a few opportunities. Tess yes, Baron Van Cristiano Ronaldo undoubtedly having the best of them. Lamati's throw down the line. And much to the annoyance of Nabil, he will be penalised by the referee. Yellow card coming out for the goalkeeper here. He's 
tried to steal another five yards or so from the free kick after being told to go back the first time. Stage of the game where game management comes into play. Ultimately, a point is enough for Al Nasser or Persepolis. If they can't go on and get themselves a winner, they might feel this is a, an opportunity missed. As they try and secure one of those three best runners-up spots. And against ten men for as long as they were. Is that a foul from Manning? This is the referee. To Rabi. Rigi. Sadegi. Rigi. Now to Rabi. Steps away from the fullback and looks to use Nabil. And Nabil's got there. Back again with Ali Sharp. Rafi. Kanani. Sadegi, Kanani getting himself into the knee penalty area, the big central defender. The drop back now. Namati. This last 10 minutes, I just wonder you know, if Persepolis will look to try and take the handbrake off a little bit and really have a go. points here could be absolutely massive for them in that battle for one of the best runners up spots except they started match week five outside that top three only one goal difference mine Baron Van Balciani To, to Rabi. Danced on to Sadegi, and Sadegi's got runners with him. He's found a good ball as well. And the bill is available through the middle. Instead, it will come out to Ali Sharp. Ali Sharp, well, he can't get the better of a Xavier. For me, from a Porto man, but his pass forward is disappointing. And now to Rabi. To Rabi. Trying to find a space to Rabi. Well, the referee's given a free kick. The port, the man taken out. Just a little pullback wasn't there from Nabil. Man down. This time it's Ali Sharp. And there was just a, a little pullback on the port. It's a good spot for the referee. And see why Nabil did it, just trying to create a hole for Sarabi. Something to drive into. Sharp removing his captain's armband suggests that he knows that his race is run. So he's going to have to make way and looks to be feeling the back of the hamstring. And if that is the case, then there is no coming back from it. He'll hope it's just a case of cramp. Visitors going to make another change here, and it's Mohamed Sugi who's going to come on.
confirmation. The third change of the game for the visitors. Sutton, now can am. He's going to make way for the home side too. And Ali Al Hassan will replace him. Hard, the right back, the light change. The substitute Hassan has hopped away, and we move into the final five minutes of this contest. Game which certainly could have been very different. A number of penalty was awarded by the referee inside the third minute of the game. Cristiano Ronaldo going to grounds only. For Ronaldo himself to say that that isn't the penalty. I was trying to avoid a challenge, but there was no contact. There's no reason to give a penalty. Returned by VAR. It's Namati. And that would be a free kick. And that is Rafi. He was the guilty party. And he is one of the players on a yellow card. Certainly something that the home fans are reminding the referee of. No second card though. Hassan. Batavia. Hassan, Mati got there ahead of him, now Brozovic. He's found Moran, and he's lost out to Helsiani. He's worked hard at the heart of the defence. He thought he was impeded as well. Nothing going from the referee. into celebration if they can hold out for nil nil but they can hold out for the point that will take them into the knockout stages there's Garciani to Raby good ball Rafi Namati to Raby again It will tidy it up for Moran. He'll look to bring it away. Manny through the middle. Can't get away from Velciani. Free kick. Another big appeal for a yellow card. They'll probably easily have picked one up there, Velciani, but the referee not interested. Standing right over the free kick, he is one of the players to have picked up a yellow. Has to be very, very careful. Alpha Teal. Morant has used it well. Yehe. Tried to go in behind. Well, Manny was providing the shorter ball instead of Sprosovic. Tavia. Garib. Rosovic. Stepping forward. Yehea. Mane. Garib. 
Urge to have a go. Didn't really get hold of it. Nassiani able to clear his lines, but only out as far as Hassan and Otavio. Otavio, oh, there was a hand in his face and Rafi. And I wonder whether this will be the second yellow. He's been really walking that tightrope. Again, I think the referee's going to let it go. First time we see Otavio gesturing to the referee for a card. Probably old fashioned if you like, but I'm not a fan. All part of game management though these days, isn't it? Anyway, free kick is with inside the 90 and well, that's it well, moments away as things stand from progressing to the knockout stages of the competition point will be enough so could be a valuable point for Persepolis as they try and take one of those best runners up spots the three runners up spots and that's their time to turn one point into three so he did well here he is again the substitute Rigi Seregi Very congested. Need a moment of magic. It's a poor ball from Seregi. Given away and tidied up by Alpatil. Grosovic, now he's given it away. It could be costly to Rabi. Well tidied up though there. Terrific work and Otavio looks to bring it clear. Mane looking to go through the middle. Here's Moran instead. And he was crowded out and he's given the ball away. Now Sidegi. Sidegi using Rafi. to watch Namati on ahead of him. That's where the ball has gone. Namati will win his side. The throw. Good committed challenge. More changes coming as uh, Rigi makes way. And Kananov will replace him and that's sensible management with uh, Rafi making way it's certainly very very close to picking up a second yellow the Cephalus have made all their changes as Namati looks to launch in this long throw it's flicked on at the near post it's not properly away to Rabi can't get hold of it Velciani it won't come down to Rabi and the strike comes in in the end from Ismilafar he can't keep the effort down and is that to be their final opportunity long throws can often cause problems we don't see them that often certainly caused problems in there there was a bit of chaos before as Milifar got his strike away couldn't keep the effort down though that might just be enough to secure the necessary point for Al Nasser here's Hassan 
trying to help the ball in behind it up towards Moran. Nelsiani steps across to tidy up, and that will be a corner. Well, Cephalus, they just missed their chance to turn one point into three. What can Al Nasser produce from this corner? The final 90 seconds. Perfect so far in qualifying. In the group stage, can they find a winner? Brozovic to deliver. Well, no is the answer, as that's just put right on the forehead of Graziani. An excellent defensive header from the big Georgian centre half. And that's another corner though, Namati preventing it from finding Mane. And these home fans are desperate for a goal. Forward. And will be a target too. In again from Brozovic. It's flicked away. Yehea's effort well charged down. That might just be that. Seconds. And save it. Still wiggle away. Well, the referee has seen enough. Well, there are no goals, but Al Nasser have got the point that they wanted, the point that secures their progress into the last 16 of the competition. As for Persepolis, well, it may feel like an opportunity missed. Tough game, but do you think this is good for it's good for a team? 
well, it's surely a very hard game for us. Of course, uh, for us, it's very important to win the game because uh, there is uh, three favorite second team is going to the next stage, so we need the points. But when you play against Ronaldo, against Brozovic, against such big stars in Saudi, I really appreciate what Saudi did for the football, really. Here is a fantastic atmosphere. It was great uh, feeling and attitude and also experience to play in such environment. Thank you. And uh, the second half, the team played very well in the second half, especially in the second half today. You know, uh, I think we were organized well. We had some good chances. We had to score some goals. But as you know, there was a red card. It, it was more easy for us. It was more tough for the opponent team. Also, I think we didn't play uh, bad. We could play more better, of course. If we could play more better, we, we could win also the game. So, what can we say? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. سلطان نقول لك يعطيك العافيه نبارك لك اليوم التاهل المباراه كانت صعبه بصراحه ما بين النصر والفريق الايراني اول شيء الله يبارك فيك الحمد لله على التاهل كانت مباراه صعبه انا تعرف حصلنا طرد تقريبا دقيقه 16 بس الحمد لله استحوذنا على المباراه وطلعنا بالاهم اللي هو التاهل رغم الضغط نقدر نشوفه على اللاعبين مباريات كثيره اليوم رغم الطرد دقيقة 16 تقريبا فريق رتم عالي الى نهاية المباراة. الحمد لله احنا لاعبين كبار، نلعب فريق كبير، متعودين على مباريات وعلى الضغوطات. والحمد لله انت شايف جالسين نقدم 19 مباراة بدون هزيمة الحمد لله. والقادم افضل باذن الله. رقم كبير، المواصلة حتكون صعبة الحين لكم. باذن الله لا ان شاء الله باذن الله، هي صعبة لكن قادرين عليها باذن الله. يعطيك العافية، شكرا سلطان. شكرا. شكرا.
Freddy, but 